artists, happy Monday. I hope you had a really good weekend. You were able to kind of disconnect from school and just be a kid again for a little while. We are gonna keep going with our daily themes that we started last week. Um, Monday is Memory Monday, and last week we did a journal entry. That's a great thing to keep doing if that's what you wanna do. It can be daily, it can be weekly, it can be whenever you feel like it. That's entirely up to you, but journaling is always a good choice. I'm gonna challenge you this week to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna challenge you to create a time capsule. Have you ever heard of those before? Something, maybe it's a box or a bag or even just an envelope that has little things from a certain time period in it. And it's not opened for a number of years. So that could be anywhere from five years to 50 years or longer. So in your time capsule, I would love for you to do a couple of things. One is I would love for you to write a letter to your future self, explaining what the world is like right now. What is your life like right now? All the details. Give all the details. If you have a picture of yourself, it would be a really good idea to include it to show what you look like right now. If you don't, you can draw a picture of yourself or even a picture of you and your family. That would be a great choice too. Make sure you put a date. So it can be April 2020, it can be today's date, anything that you think would be a good choice to include in your time capsule so that we know when it started. When did you put this time capsule together? Another really good idea would be to write out a list of all of your favorite things. So your favorite color, your favorite animal, your favorite food, your favorite snack your favorite thing to do outside, your favorite subject in school, anything you can think of that you like or enjoy. You can even put things in there that you don't like, You're like food that you don't like or subjects that you don't like because who knows, if you decide to open this in 10 years, you may have changed your mind. You know, you may not like science right now, but in 10 years, you may be pursuing a career in science. You know, that may be really your passion. So it'd be very interesting to see how things change over time. I would also encourage you to put an open date. That means that you pick a time sometime in the future that you want this time capsule to be opened. So you could put April 2025, April 2070, April um, 2120, so 100 years in the future when your children and your grandchildren are opening it and they're finding out that you liked Takis and, and Gatorade and they're like, what is that? Because we don't even have those anymore. It's gonna be a really interesting thing to see how things change and how things stay the same. So make sure you put a date on when this time capsule should be opened. That's all for this part, but I do wanna tell you that if you haven't already seen a note from your homeroom teacher, art and music are no longer requiring you to fill out that form that says how many minutes of art did you do during the week. Don't worry about it, we're not counting it anymore not necessary, so it is not a requirement. You are still welcome to email your teachers. We love hearing from you. Ms. Schindel and I talk about how much we miss y'all all the time, so please make sure that you are including us in anything that you are doing that is art or music. We would love to see it. We miss y'all like crazy, and we cannot wait to see you again. So that is all for this video today. Again, these are suggestions, not requirements, but they're ideas that would be pretty cool to do. Okay, that is all for today. Remember, art is life.